Hi guys, Master here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day as always. And today we're going to be reviewing the Target exclusive 10 inch Boba Fett. Let's go. All right, so I don't pick up very many 10 inch pops on a regular basis just because they take up so much space in my collection. But when I saw this one, I had to have it. First of all, in Star Wars, and second of all, it's from the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back line. And I'm trying to get every single one of those because there's not a whole lot of them and I really want to do like a whole set video eventually. I'm almost there, I just need one more for that. But yeah, so I got this one a few weeks ago and it, overall it looks great. So I just wanna take you around the box real fast. So on the front there you can see it says 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back. It's that same logo that you see on, you, on the, all the other pops. And you look on the side there, there's Boba Fett, with that same sort of blue and black color scheme. And then on the back is just him with a bigger version of that logo. So there you go. And I also like what they did here is that the reason it looks so shiny in the camera is because they actually put a bit of a silvery film on there just to protect the box from scratches. And I really like that because it's really easy with this huge of a window for it to get dislodged or damaged or something. So I really like that Target took the time to package that properly. All right, so here is the Funko Pop out of box, and I just think it looks phenomenal, just like I said earlier. There's a lot of detail on it, and I really liked how they did a couple things on this pop, but specifically how the helmet looks, because you can see all these little chips and dings kind of going along the side there, just how it would be in actual universe, because obviously these armors have a bit of wear and tear, so it wouldn't just be brand new, so that explains the chips. And I also like how awesome this dent looks, because he got that in a deleted scene from the Clone Wars show, which I thought was a great touch. You can also see how the yellow lines kind of going along the side of his helmet there. Those also are chipped, so that's great. And then if you go turn it around to the body, there's another couple other great details. You can see there, there's a little symbol. I'm not really sure what that is, but here, these things, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these are supposed to be like Wookiee hairs or something, kind of as a tribute to maybe his kills or his bounties or something. I don't fully know what that is, so not don't really quote me on that. I don't know if that's actually canon or not, but... I don't really care. It looks like it's a great detail on this Funko Pop. And that's the armor there. And then you can also see on the side there, you can see the Mandalorian logo or just his Mandalorian logo at least. So that's another great touch. And then his signature capes just kind of flowing around there as well. And then looking at the, that's the front. And then you kind of look at the back. You can also see his jetpack. The little missile launcher is still there, but you just can't really see it when it's just kind of like this because of the head is just so big on it. Overall, the jetpack looks good as well. And then also he has his signature EE3 blast rifle, of course, that's his signature weapon. So I'm happy they were able to incorporate that so well into the design. Overall, I do love the pose of this one as well. They've made, I think, a similar one of this mold from Star Wars Celebration a few years ago, where it was the um, Boba Fett chrome. It was the blue and the gold one. It has the exact same pose as this, just obviously chromed instead of just fully colored. I think it looks great. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but his jetpack does have a little bit of a ding on the paint, which I really like. And one thing I'm just noticing now is that if you look at the armor here, there is another kind of hit mark from a blaster bolt. So that's a great touch. I really like how they're able to put the little dings and the hits on him. I feel like it kind of just adds a bit more to his character. And I also like how they put them, put it in this solid black base. You can see instead of Star Wars being on the front there, like it is on the four inch pops, it is actually kind of down here on the side. That looks great and I'm really happy that they had a base for him because in my experience a lot of 10 inch pops that I have that don't have these bases kind of tend to fall over. And I think the same thing would have happened to him because of his huge huge head but fortunately we don't have to worry about that. So yeah overall this is a fantastic Funko Pop. If you still want to pick it up you can just head over to Target. I'm sure they might have one or two sold around. If not you can check online and of course there's eBay and Mercari and stuff. I believe it's going for around retail so if you want to get it for cheap this is probably a good time to get it especially if you're a Star Wars fan or you just love Empire Strikes Back in general. But yeah, anyways guys, this has been another episode of Potmaster. Me doing a quick review of the 10-inch Boba, Boba Fett pot from the Empire Strikes Back. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.